So here is AABB, Asia Broadband. This finishes at 18.3 cents today. That is down 25.68%. <laughs> Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here is NAKD, Naked Brand Group. This finishes at $5.01 today. That is down 8.91%. So we discussed this stock not too long ago. This recently reverse split. It did a 1 to 15 reverse split. Been pretty rough for this stock. Ever since the squeezed back in January, it's just been slowly bleeding ever since. And it just keeps making lower lows. But yesterday, we did have some news coming out here. So let's check it out. Centro, which is merging with Naked Brand Group, announces delivery of 628 light urban EVs, reaffirms guidance to deliver 20,000 vehicles in 2022. So if you guys don't know, Naked did acquire Centro, which is an EV maker. Honestly, I have no idea why. Naked Brand is a clothing company. I don't know what they're doing with EVs, but hey, okay. So that's interesting because that appears to be bullish news, but um, it seems like the market doesn't agree and the stock sells off today pretty significantly, 9%. So let's go ahead and analyze now. So first of all, we have a gap down at 690. So that is a bullish indicator that is telling us this stock should come back up to 690 eventually to fill this gap. At the same time, we have a gap up all the way back from January, gap up at 320. So that would be a bearish indicator that is telling us this stock may come back down to 320 eventually to fill this gap. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now, this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 510 and 410. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 510. 570, 620, 705, 770, 840, 905, 980, 1040, 1090, 1165, 1265, 1335, and then 1410. And there is resistance above 1410, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 410, 320, and then the low of 285. So right now at this current price, $5, the channels to the upside and the downside are decently sized. So expect a good amount of price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this breaks 1845 to the upside, the channel starts to open up and get really wide. So expect a significant increase in price action if slash when this breaks 1845. RSI is currently at 19. So that is extremely oversold and undervalued. So this could be a good buying opportunity, not financial advice. And this did 7 million in volume today, which is above average. So this sell-off today was confirmed by the volume. So just my opinion, not financial advice. We are getting some mixed signals here. We have the gap up at 320. So that's bearish. And then we have the gap down at 690 and the low RSI. So those would be bullish. So right now this does appear to be slightly bullish based on the TA here. Now this is pretty scary because the next support after the current one is 410. So this can easily go down another 20% if this breaks support here at around 510. So honestly, this current price of $5 is already pretty good, but there is still more downside potential here. This appears to be rapidly selling off, hasn't really caught any support yet. So while the TA does look slightly bullish, personally, I think this will continue to sell off in the short term at least. So if you want to go long, not financial advice, couldn't blame you if you want to go long here at $5. Like I said, that's already a pretty excellent price. But honestly, I think if you wait a little bit, you should be able to get a better one. Maybe even 320 where the gap is. And eventually this should fill the gap at 690. That's 40% of the upside there. But yeah, you know, um, if you want to go long, I can support this current price of $5 and lower. If it keeps pulling back, then you can just average down at the supports that I mentioned before. Personally, I'd wait a little bit longer, see if you can get a better price, but I really couldn't blame you if you wanna go long here at five bucks. It's already excellent price. Going long here looks like an easy 40% to the upside. And if it pulls back even more to fill the gap at 320, that'd be about a 110% upside there. 
yeah, really can't go wrong here at five bucks. But if it keeps falling back, which it very well could, that would be even better. But yeah, I would support going long at five dollars and lower. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, seems like a pretty decent play. It's just kind of risky. Going short here would be a high risk, high reward play, I would say. Personally, I wouldn't do it. Too risky for my liking. Again, this could pull back down to 320, and that would be about a 40% downside there. But at the same time, this already pulled back so much, so it can only pull back so much further, and there is a good amount of upside potential here. A really risky play. Personally, I wouldn't do it. It's somewhat of a gamble. If you guys understand you are gambling, it could pay off pretty big, as long as you're aware of the risks. I could support going short here at five bucks. Just please cover at 320 once this fills the gap. Longer term, this is definitely a good play if you want to buy. But in the short term, this could keep pulling back. Yeah, it's been rough for this stock, but just hang in there, guys. Eventually, it should come back up. So sorry to everyone who lost money in the stock today, but could be a good buying opportunity. Not financial advice. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is NAKD, Naked Brand Group. So here is AABB, Asia Broadband. This finishes at 18.3 cents today. That is down 25.68%. So we've been talking about this stock for the past few days. The other day when I did a video, I said no significant news as to why the stock is pumping so hard. And then some people jumped on my case there saying like big catalyst coming up. Crypto exchange is going to launch. I did forget about that. So my bad on that. I did reply saying that there have been many other stocks with crypto exchanges and on the launch day, those stocks tend to sell off pretty hard. So I said, just be careful. It appears like that might be a sell the news event. And today it sells off 26%. Yeah, this was in fact a sell the news event. That's the reason why for this price action today. Big catalyst and sell the news event here. Very unfortunate. Sorry to everyone who lost money, but you know, hope you guys can learn from this. This is a learning lesson for the future. Usually when there is a big catalyst coming up, it usually sells off. The smart money dumps it on the dumb money, to be blunt, because they know that people are buying in anticipation for this big catalyst. And I know it's kind of counterintuitive, but yeah, um, it usually gets dumped on big news. But yeah, let's go ahead and analyze here. So there is a gap back at five cents. So that is a bearish indicator that is telling us the stock may go back down to five cents eventually to fill this gap. Looks pretty unlikely at this point, but you never know. Uh, that is very noteworthy. So keep that in mind, guys. Gap up at five cents, bearish indicator there. And right now, this is not looking too great. This looks like it's possibly going into free fall slash bear flagging. No confirmation just yet, but it's not looking great. This could go really, really bad if this is in fact a bear flag here. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now, this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 18.6 cents and 17.4 cents. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 18.6 cents, 20 cents, 21.7 cents, 23.1 cents, 23.8 cents, 24.7 cents, 25.3 cents, 26.8 cents, 28 cents, 29 cents, 30.1 cents, 32 cents, and then 33.4 cents. And there is resistance above 33.4 cents, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 17.4 cents, 16.2 cents, 14.7 cents, 13.1 cents, 11.9 cents, 10.5 cents, 9.5 cents, and then 8.5 cents. And there is support below 8.5 cents, but we're not going to discuss that right now. So right now at this current price, 18.3 cents, the channels to the upside and the downside are decently sized. So expect a good amount of price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this breaks 35 cents to the upside, the channel starts to open up and get really wide. So expect a significant increase in price action if slash when this breaks 35 cents. RSI is currently at 46, so I'm a little below average now. So according to the RSI, this current price of 18.3 cents is around fair market value. And this did 246 million in volume today. Very significant volume. So the sell off today was confirmed by the volume. Okay, guys. So just my opinion, not financial advice. This does appear to be bearish in the short term. Again, we have the gap up. It's free falling right now. Possible bear flag as well. 
So those are all bearish indicators, really no bullish indicators or neutral indicators. So this makes me believe that this will continue to pull back in the short term at least. How far it's going to go down, I can't say, but there is the gap at 5 cents. So hopefully it doesn't go down there, but that is pretty possible. So if you want to go long, not financial advice, I would not do that and I would not recommend that. Like I said, this is looking like it's free falling right now. It looks like it still has a long way to go to the downside. It's really not too smart to go along here. You should be able to get a much better price if you're just a little patient. How far it's going to go down, again, I have no idea. But the smarter play would be just to hold off for right now, observe the price action, see when this starts to bottom out, starts to catch support, then come in and make your move. Because if you were to go long at this current price, 18.3 cents, you're probably going to end up holding some bags. You'd be buying into a falling knife. Yeah, I don't like the price of 18.3 cents, but again, as long as you're a little patient, you should be able to get a much better price. So I could support going long once this starts to bottom out, catch a support, and reverse. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, seems like a pretty decent play. You already missed the fat tendies the past two days. This has been selling off, but again, it still looks bearish in the short term. Looks like it's going into free fall. So I can't say how much you're going to make on the short side here, but you should probably be able to make some decent money. Nothing crazy, maybe like 10 to 20%. So I would support going short here. Once this starts to bottom out and catch support, then please cover. So sorry to everyone who lost money in the stock today. But again, hope you guys can learn from this in the future. When there's a big catalyst coming up, consider selling the news. It's called buying the rumor, selling the news. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is AABB Asia Broadband. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.